and welcome to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. This is an accessible room which I wanted to show you. Now Disney's Caribbean Beach has just been newly refurbished. It was refurbished at the end of 2018. So let's have a look around and see what the wheelchair accessible room is like. So, as you can see, it's really, really nice and spacious as you come through, easy to get your wheelchair around. And then, what you will first come across is a nice big bed and a nice big desky table thing where you can do some work or you can um, do your makeup or whatever you want to do. And I sit really nicely under here. It's nice and wide and big and the chairs were pushed to the side. So this is a twin room and we have twin queen size beds. They are lovely and spacious. Also, can I just point something else out that it is spotlessly clean? Was. Well, yeah, I mean, but in terms of <laughs> dirt, there's nothing. It's really, really beautiful. There's lots of room either side of the bed. There are the two beds, but someone got the best bed. The mattresses are different. This one is more... Um, it's like more fun, and this one is more like, like you sink into it, and it's uh, actually nice. This one's just right. <laughs> She's like Goldilocks. <laughs> and then to transfer, the beds are a really nice height as well. I can transfer and get in like me. in this room which is really really nice because we're here for two weeks and we've got a lot of stuff everything is very accessible like the drawers um, this is quite high and you are gonna have to reach and lean another thing that is really useful to know before you come is that there are lots of USB ports so you don't need to worry about getting plug adapters for the things that take USB um, something that could be very important to my lovely friends out there is that there is a fridge. Um, I know some people have to keep medications and things in the fridge, so that is really, really handy to know. These are my drawers, and then and here I've got like play suits and shorts, and, and then I've got t shirts and jumpers just in case it rains. I really want my Toy Story one. <laughs> That's tomorrow. My Toy Story. So, yeah. Check out this big, massive 56 inch Samsung TV showing Disney constantly, which is great for kids. Yeah, that's, that's a good touch. And here is the wardrobe. Bit of a tight squeeze. But the wardrobe is nice and relatively accessible. So we've got hangers down here, which I can reach. I've got my dresses there and my t-shirts up there and a few things hanging there. And there's an ironing board, but who irons on holiday? <laughs> who irons? Is that Daisy's floor drobe? That's all my clothes. <laughs> Come on, DB! And if you end up with a floor drobe like DB's, then fear not, dotted around the resort there is a guest laundry service where you can do your own laundry for a little charge, but it is completely secure and you don't have to worry about going back home with loads of dirty laundry. Into the bathroom now, and there's a beautiful sliding door which saves on room and getting in and out is nice and easy because you have to worry about the door. And just look at the size of this bathroom. Plenty, plenty, plenty of room. And the toilet is nice and easy oop, to transfer onto. Grab rails. Also, let's point out that there is a safe for all of your valuables. And it's big enough to fit my laptop in. I'm gonna put the passports in. sink is a really nice height. I can fit right underneath it, do what I need to do, even clear out. 
that I can get to you as well. And I can see the mirror is the right height here. Now, my sister is a bit of a Disney pro, and one of her tips for me was to take some washing up liquid. This is so that you can wash up your refillable mugs and your water bottles, because going two weeks without washing your mugs or your water bottles is a long time. And look at this bath. <laughs> It is nice and accessible. There are lots and lots and lots of grab rails. When you're sat down in the bath, if you are having a bath, it's quite hard to reach the nice complimentary toiletries. Um, but these are nice and easy to get to if you're having a shower. You can, have the, you can have a sat down shower and these are nice and big and easy to turn. Having said that, it was really tight and Sean had to undo it. Um, and also, I would have liked to have seen some grab rails on the outside of the bath, but there aren't any on the outside. But <laughs> <laughs> other than that, we're all really, really happy, aren't we? Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Oh, and actually, yeah, let's point out that they do complimentary toiletries um, for the shower, and there are some complimentary soaps and body lotion as well. And tissues for people that need to blow their nose. <laughs> While this accessible bathroom is perfect for my needs and my condition, it may not be perfect for everybody. There is no wet room and there is no shower board. So these things were playing on my mind and bugging me just a little bit. So I went to reception and I informed them that I had a little bit of a problem reaching the shampoo and the conditioner and body wash. And they were very, very quick to make changes for me and give me samples from the gift shop. I also asked if they did have a wet room on site and the hotel does offer wet room with a zero entry shower. Unfortunately, I didn't get time to have a look at it, but they did assure me that they do exist. You just need to request them when you make your booking. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more. We've got loads more Disney content coming and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Action. And here we have a nice big, I was going to say fridge. Action. Oh, we got Daisy blo nose blowing. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? Yeah. Okay. And look. I'm gonna cry in a minute if I don't get anything to eat. <laughs>